Click subscribe to receive notifications from the latest videos. Thank you. The new Lamborghini Rus is the Lamborghini of SUVs. Lamborghini's newest SUV is practical, refined, and conservative in design. Except, you know, the opposite. Before we get to the new Lamborghini Rus, a history lesson. From 1986 to 1993, Lamborghini made something called an LM002. Affectionately dubbed the Rambo Lambo, it was a pile of squares intended to be a military vehicle. It had the Countach's engine. Inside an SUV. Lamborghini imagined it as the brand's Land Cruiser or G-Wagon, an off-road athlete that would be sold en masse to nations. This was optimistic, because a Lamborghini in the 80s was as trustworthy as Paul Manafort. Few LM002s were ever sold, and fewer, if any, went out on sanctioned military missions. One did show up in the Robin Williams Fever Dream toys, Lamborghini hasn't put an on-car vehicle into production since that magical rectilinear failure. Until now. Yanks on large shiny tarp, say hello to the new Lamborghini Rus. The second ever SUV from the mustachioed engineers in San Degata, Italy. First, Wyrus. Generally, Lamborghini names its creations after famous bulls or bull breeds, Merslago, Orkin, Gallardo, and on and on. Rus, though, is another name for the aurochs, which is the forebear to the modern cow. This makes sense. The Rus SUV is brashness and domestication smashed together. On one side you have extreme Lamborghini-ness, all over everywhere. There's the brand signature missile launch toggle covering the start button. A 641 horsepower twin turbo V8 engine that won't be happy until you've flashed your high beams at everyone in the left lane. A 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3.6 seconds for reminding people at stoplights that you always win. A top speed of 190 miles per hour, which, sure. There's a switch that lets you make granular tweaks to the SUV's performance and mannerisms, and it's labeled Ego. Lamborghini sees you. And let's talk about the Russe's design, because it's greasier than Harrison Ford's eyes. There are crazed lines everywhere, as if slashing very angry marks all over the paper could make the SUV fast enough to outrun the fact that it'll largely be used to schlep people and groceries and small dogs with exquisite pedigrees and seven middle names. Also, the Rus wheel openings are in homage to those on the original Countach, and it has a gaping grille roughly the size and shape of your insecurity. The valet will love it. On the softer side, look at that interior. The word sumptuous comes to mind, but said slowly and with extra lip action. There's an adaptive air suspension that'll cradle your bad back, stop and go autonomous cruise control, and seemingly a buffalo wild wings worth of screen acreage across the gauges and dash. One thing you don't get, a bench seat and back. The Rus features two cozy rear buckets in which to strap your two children. Or, your two favorite children. The rest can take the bus to public school. All this can be yours for around 200,000 American dollars, exact price DBD when the car starts shipping in spring 2018. That price is merely the base, no options, though the Rus does come standard, as do all Lamborghinis with a name that requires, enables, corrections. It's pronounced Toa Arus. No, roll the R a bit. A little gentler. One more time. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video interesting please like and share to many friends know. Do you have any questions please comment below to let everyone know. And do not forget to click on the subscribe button to receive notifications from the latest videos. Goodbye and see you again.